AI and robotics automate farming operations. High protein soybeans replace meat, while coffee concentrate can be added to water or milk to create the best cup of coffee you've ever tasted. A gluten-free cauliflower pasta tastes better than bolognese, and strawberries become luxuriously good. That's 2022 in food companies. Welcome to Food Verge, and today we talk about the top 10 most innovative food companies of 2022. What will the food of the future taste and look like? Make sure to watch till the end to find out. Number 10. Collie Power Starting out top with Collie Power, which makes gluten-free bread substitutes out of cauliflower and sweet potato. Being only four years old, the company generated almost 101 million US dollars in annual sales in 2020 alone. All thanks to cauliflower crust pizza and sweet potato chicken tenders. Doesn't it sound tasty? Then you're missing the trend. Because in 2021, the company worked with more than 25,000 retailers and online grocers. In 2022, the company has presented new noodles made from cauliflower and sold in the freezer aisle. They look, feel and taste like the original ones, but they are much healthier. If you aren't a fan of instant noodles, then ready to heat breakfast cups filled with scrambled eggs, cauliflower and vegetables will definitely make you emotional. Number 9. Groundwork Bioag Groundwork Bioag produces Rutella, a cost-effective mycorrhizal inoculant, naturally occurring fungi depleted due to overtilling and fertilization. You might wonder who grows fungus and for what? But it supports plants resilient, helps grain farmers increase their yield per acre, and reduces their use of phosphorus, a critical nutrient for plant growth that, unfortunately, contributes to water pollution. In 2021, the company had spread across five continents and tripled its revenue. In 2022, Groundwork combined its existing equipment with image processing and AI to automate manufacturing. It sounds shockingly cool, but it also made Rutella's price more accessible. Number 8. Jot Two years ago, Jot brought an exceptional concept a potent concentrate that is 20 times the strength of coffee. Keep calm, Starbucks fans. The liquid is sold in glass bottles, with one tablespoon enough to make your favorite flat white. Just add a glass of water or milk. Jot has sold 10 million US dollars worth of its ultra coffee in just two years. In 2022, the company has pioneered a limited edition release model with different brews. You can drink Holiday, which tastes creamy and has notes of hot chocolate, or give a shot to Encore, made from single origin beans sourced by a woman's organic cooperative in Guatemala. Can't wait to hit their first coffee shops. Number 7. Oishi Oishi is regarded as the Tesla of strawberries. No, it, it doesn't run on electricity, but it's a delicious fruit that tastes more like candy than fruit. And still, it's healthy and sugar-free. The berries are highly exceptional and are premium priced. 50 US dollars for eight berries. Oh, <laughs> that's where Tesla came from. What's the secret behind their success? Easy. Oishi uses vertical farming to eliminate the need for pesticides and grow high quality delicious fruit. Oishi sells its products directly to master chefs while we can buy the candy fruits in New York, New Jersey and Los Angeles. The company promised to raise production and deliver nationwide. We'll keep you posted on their new stores. Number 6. Barcel You've definitely heard about Barcel, or at least their brand of spicy Mexican roll tortilla chips called Takis. They've created a cult amongst youngsters with the jalapeno challenge back in 2020. 
kids film themselves devouring a jalapeno stuffed with cream cheese and takis. What a show. But this past summer, the company took it further by hiring Charlie D'Amelio and Twitch superstar Tyler Ninja Blevins for a marketing campaign. Today, Takis Fuego has racked up more than 500 million views on TikTok. When the House of Parliament tried to ban Takis advertising in the UK because of their high fats, salt and sugar, Takis launched an answer. Listen to the haters' social message featuring a blurred photo of a Takis chip with an explicit content warning attached. This year, Takis also launched four new brand extensions, bringing its intense flavors to popcorn, chips, and other salty snacks. I've personally learnt about Takis from the Nikocado Avocado YouTube channel. I recommend it to all mukbang fans. Number five, gold and green foods. Everyone's been into oat milk lately, while Golden Green Foods aims at high protein meat alternatives. The company earns some respect for the chewy, versatile, pulled oats line of products. It can easily replace both chicken and beef. Last year, Taco Bell presented Golden Green Pulled Oats Tacos in all of their UK spots. Plus, the company introduced protein granules and protein flakes which can be used as a meat substitute or as a protein additive like protein powder. The secret? There are three ingredients. Nordic Oats Bran, Pea Protein and Fava Bean Protein. Number 4. Pod Foods Pod Foods works as a bridge for food companies. They connect startup brands with big retailers through an app. The wholesale marketplace charges a percentage of gross wholesale prices for a small fee. Retailers, grocery chains and delivery services can access a large inventory of emerging brands through an app. Today, the company works with more than 1,000 new food brands, including CBD drink company Reese's and Backyard Brine Pickles, having retailers in seven cities across the states. Number three, Agrostar. Agrostar is a blend of a social network, educational platform and e-commerce storefront. Five million farmers in India uses its platform to chat with one another, access educational content to improve their farming methods find innovative data tools to help monitor crops and shop for new products. The platform is multilingual, so all the farmers can read and watch educational agronomy content in their particular dialect and post pictures of crop problems to get advice from agro colleagues. The company has a commerce platform where it sells its own brand products like seeds and insecticides. It has also integrated voice recognition so that farmers with limited literacy can still search for and purchase products. In 2022, the company opened 1,000 stores starting from merely 50. Number two, Benson Hill. Ready for some genetics? Benson Hill uses gene editing for their ultra high protein soybeans. It can be used as animal feed, cooking oil, and as a critical ingredient in the booming alt meat category. How is it going? 145 million US dollars in revenue in 2021 alone says it all. Today, they are selling their own line of cooking oil called Very. Soon, we will see their new protein brand called Truvale. The company boasts 70,000 acres of the new soybean. It looks like the soybean apocalypse is coming. Number one, FarmWise Labs. Finally, we're back to the robots. FarmWise Labs uses AI and robotics to automate farming operations. How is it achieved? In 2020, they presented a first of its kind commercial weeding robot named Titan that identifies and removes weeds 
that would otherwise damage crops. The company doesn't sell robots to farmers, but sells its services to farms and charges around 200 US dollars per weeded acre. Sweet math. 12 Titan machines are operating on half of the US's top 20 vegetable growers crops. That's the future we've all been waiting for. So what do you think? What company do you consider the most innovative in 2022? Share your opinion in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe so you don't miss an upload and you can enjoy the excellent content we send your way.